Welcome to today's video, everyone. We are gonna be shooting at 100 yards. Not quite sure with what bow yet. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot it with my 3D setup. I might shoot my 27. It's really the only two bows that are set up right now. Um, but we got a package from Lancaster. I actually ordered. People, I'm sure people are wondering, like, I still buy a lot of my archery stuff. Like, I literally just went on Lancaster and bought. Um, I want, also, side note, I've been doing a lot of shooting with my NAS bow because we're wanting to do some videos with the NAS bow and NAS equipment. So anyways, I had to order some stuff. So I ordered, oh, I wanted another one of these. But I ordered some uh, no glove thingies that you put on the string. Ordered a bunch of fletchings, yellow of course. Ordered a couple extra rests. Um, that's about it, but ordered that. I order stuff from Lancaster all the time. Just like little stuff when I need it. Um, but today, special announcement for today. We've really been thinking how can we deliver, you know, more value, more effort towards the mission, the mission of be real, to be true to yourself in anything you do, but having archery and hunting as the catalyst to that and by giving information and entertainment to for people to enjoy outdoors and hunting and to get towards their goals more. So with that, this is the launch of the Be Real Club, Be Real Membership Club offered right here on YouTube. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exclusive videos for those members that kind of go more in depth, short little tips and tricks on literally everything and anything. It's gonna be like whatever you guys want, whatever you guys need, we're just gonna deliver on that and kind of more of like a laid back, um, more personal. We're gonna do a uh, live stream Q and Q and A. We're gonna do weekly new videos. Um, we might even do like, like released videos ahead of time. Like, I don't know, maybe during hunting season, like show kill shots ahead of time, or I, I don't know how we're gonna do that exactly. Um, but it's a lot to offer and it's gonna be a, something that we are really gonna focus on going forward. But with that said, nothing is gonna change from the original channel right now. Like we're still gonna do everything exactly the same, try to do several videos every week, but we're also offering this if you want to, one, just be more involved with asking questions because I'm actually gonna be on there a whole lot and uh, Q and A's videos specifically tailored to what you guys want behind the scenes content. So it's interesting. I, I really am excited to see where this is gonna go. Um, so I don't know. If you want to sign up for that though, literally you just press that join little button right next to it and just boom, you're in. Um, and we actually have a couple videos in there already and we will be doing more and more of that. But right now, I think I'm gonna shoot my 27. We're gonna go outside, shoot, probably walk back to 100 yards and see what type of groups we can get with the 27 at 100 yards. Okay, 27, haven't shot this bow in a little bit. Um, but it is a good shooting bow. And now I gotta find my arrows. Where are those be? Do you remember seeing them in there? Mm -hmm. Might take a second here, folks. Bow case somewhere. You think so? I don't know. We gotta organize all of our arrows. I still, when we did the shot build, I was talking about how I wanted to do like an arrow, a giant arrow tube thing right here, and I still want to do that. I just haven't yet, and I need to. Which, that would be a good video, I guess, if you guys are interested in that. Are there any? Oh, there's right there. Nope, that's the broken one. Okay, we found the arrows. They were still in my quiver and I still got feathers on them from turkey season and three of them are bloody. Two of them are bloody. All right, we got five arrows and we gotta kinda shoot, to get 100 yards, we gotta kinda shoot at a weird angle, but we're gonna go put a target out. Shoot a couple ends, see how well we can do. Hopefully not miss the target too many times. And go from there. I think when I was ranging it the other day, it's gotta go like over there. Let's go do that. Okay. 
Should I put it on? No, I can't put it on top of the stump. It's missing. It hit the stump right there. All right, there we go. Shot 100 yards in a while. I'm kind of excited. All right, let's shoot this room right here. Shoot one arrow at least, make sure I'm still good. You smoked a tree, dude. Right over it. 50. Well, I guess my sight tape's off, off there a little bit. <laughs> dude, that is dead in, right in the center of a tree. <laughs> oh man, why does this always happen? Took some yard to draw. Still high. gonna walk back to 100 to make sure I don't miss it again. <laughs> I don't remember this tape being off that much. How far this is. 72. Here, we're like a good five yards off. Alright, let's go pull them and then we'll just keep working back. Gotta get over by that tree over there to shoot 100. Oh, two misses in the first five arrows ain't so good. It's not gonna be fun getting it out of that tree. where it was oh dude I got two in the trees there's my one. Oh, dude that is not going out that's freaking this one. Oh, this one's coming right out classic missing left and right it's like no ah oh, we might have to get like some, some screwdrivers and pliers. Souvenir. It's so dumb. You know what I should do is go stack a target on top of this. So in case I miss. Or we should just bring the big one over. Eh. All right, let's try this again. That was good. It's like add seven yards, whatever, or subtract seven yards. So 80, let's do 87 and then we'll put it on 80. Hopefully I don't miss. So we got up and downs, so we're gonna hit the dirt or the target above it. Oh, I did hit the target above it. I think I'll put that there. 
feel like my walk back tune is definitely off. As I keep going back, my sight keeps, my arrows keep going left. Okay. 92. 92 and I'm at 80 yards. Dang, this tape is way off. Hundred point four, hundred point one. I hit it. A little low left. I'm way left. All right, hundred yards. Now we're sighted in. Go pull them. Shoot a couple. See what type of groups we can get. If I could get out of four arrows, if I could get two inside the white dot, I'd be pretty dang happy with that. That might have been a hundred yarder. And I just cranked my sight more by. Now the wind starts, of course. Okay, let's see where this one goes. Then we'll adjust slightly from there. Ooh, that might've been right in the dot. Dude, that was either right in the dot or super low in the grass. I got something loose on my bow. I think it's, these excels, they get loose after a while. And there's these two little set screws. There's set screw here and set screw there. You can see, do you think you could show them that much? Like, you can see that little bit of wiggle. But that can be fixed. You just gotta keep an eye on those set screws. It's just annoying, cause like one shot it's fine, then the next shot it broke loose just enough. Just gotta stay on that. Yep, just right at the dot. Yeah, dude, I think I hit the dot on that first one. That's right. Oh, dang, my QAD thing broke too. What? What did that happen? It's rough on my stuff. I can't even see him. I need to grab my binos next time. Cool. Let's go check him out. All right. So not that bad. I'm still a little low right. And I actually couldn't see those two bottom arrows because of the grass. I might actually flip that a little bit and put, or just put it on the stump. Let's put it on the stump so you can see it. Why not? So we're going to move the site a little bit, but that's not a bad group. I'm pretty happy with that. 100 yards. Do that because the branches. Maybe I can bend those up. Well, I don't miss left. I'm gonna smoke that tree. Okay, just a little bit. I tightened up my sight too, and I got my binos. So we're rocking and rolling here. <laughs> Where did my release go? Where did I put it? Found my release. It's a hit. Oh, buddy. About an inch under the dot. Oh, 
Oh, nice, dude. Right next to the dot. Just tighten it down here. Dude, it's such a tight groove down there. Like a four inch groove so far. Oh, that's one of the tightest groups I've shot at 100. Especially with this bow. <laughs> Wicked group at 100 yards. I mean, I, I, you can't ask for anything better than that. I'm a little low, so I'll give my sight a, a, like about a half yard or so. That is really good. Let's go shoot another and see if that was total lock or not. Okay. So we'll give it about a half yard. I just scoop scooch it a little bit. Okay, that was a little high left. That was a little low left. Just finish strong and try to get these two in the dot. Left. Yeah, wind's picking up a little bit. They're sticking in the target like a little sideways to this wind at, at 100 yards. It's even two, three, four, five miles an hour wind of just consistent the entire way. Moves at a good amount. Okay, left again. I got a good solid group left, a couple up and downs. That's the up and downs, probably just me fighting the pin, just trying to find where it's at. It's pretty easy to left and right on these small blocks to figure it out, but my pin right now, Starburst, it's nearly the whole size of the, the block. But let's go down there and check it out. This wind is, it's a beautiful day to shoot, but even just, you see these, this pine tree right here just moving just a little bit. I mean, that's about a five mile an hour gust. So just that little bit, they make your arrows move. So let's go take a look at them though. So still not a bad group. Like this one I knew was a little high, this one I knew it was a little low. Just with that little bit of wind, I feel like it just bumped me all the way to the left. And we're talking two inches to the left. And that's still, that's still a group about like that. So not bad for the 27. That's a really good shooting at 100 yards. Okay, everyone, well, that wraps up today's video. The 27 Matthews V3 at 100 yards. I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to put some more time behind it. Um, I feel like I might have to lengthen my drawing just a touch. You notice it a lot when you're at longer distances because you have to anchor a little bit lower to see through your peep. Um, in 20 yards, 20 yards to 100 yards, you anchor completely different. Um, because you just look through your peep, line it up with the center of the pin you're aiming at, and that just moves up and down, so your anchor moves also. But 27, there you have it. And if you're interested in the B-Roll Club, make sure to join that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, because every single one I appreciate very, very, very much. So we'll catch you guys next time.